welcome back everyone to the Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. We got our key, we're going up this staircase. We're gonna go to the fourth floor first. Because, well, you can see there are some more things, and it shows you what items you require going that way. However, we can see now there's an item south of here. Now, I don't know exactly where there is any indication. There should be. A path over this way, but I guess I don't know where it would actually be sitting. Because there's got to be a way to get to those items. Thank you for the monster horn, it will not be needed, but thank you anyways. Yeah, I forget exactly how I found that there was a pathway over here. Did these guys line it up? Nope. Drop into the lava. Uh, any item that I could use to quickly see it. There it is. We open it up and we get the red nail. That's the reason we wanted to go as far as we did. Um, or chip, it's apparently just those edges and like the outline so there you've got your red mail now and we are free to continue on with the dungeon first thing we'll need is bombs well we have bombs so bombs away I guess uh, ice rod you can do ignore things yeah so you can change the color easier with the ice rod uh, than bombs in some situations. Plus, with four of them, you can just kind of cut your way through whatever way you need to go. The only downside is you can't use it for situations like that. First item is a red ruby. Not too helpful. And you can see we can't actually get to that one. However, I think with the ice rod, we can blow it up. Yeah, kind of defeats the purpose of how difficult this is supposed to be uh, with the ice rod, because there, we managed to get it. Downside is, we, I think we have to walk the bomb with us now to other places. Come on, bum. Let's do this. And because, yep, bombs can actually lift us up if we need it. Ugh. Oh, great. Come on, bomb. You gotta come over here. Way over here. So I can actually hit this without risking hitting you. We've gotten the bomb all the way here, which gives us access to this treasure chest, which I believe is going to be where we find our small key. It is. There's no more treasure chests in this area, so feel free to drop straight down here. I like how they say that you need bombs and then they basically hand you uh, a bomb area. Like, they hand you a free bomb. But, it's this guy's turn again. We did just fight him, so we're not too worried about it. We also take him out kind of easier if we use bombs. But, I mean, our sword is still that much stronger. And it's not like we can fall off this stage. So holding up our shield is enough to really defend us, for the most part. Come on. And he goes down. 
admittedly a lot easier than the Treacherous Tower version because, well, there's not really any risk he can get us. Upon taking him out, though, you'll see we can teleport back and the first of them has lit up. And because it was the bottom left one, it was the bottom left one. Ooh, we are close. One more and we would have a chance. So there is nothing needed for this tournament. That is an interesting situation. It means everything is completable without use of any items. Not that I believe that, but... I guess I can see why it would be. So, first thing we do, we get a monster tail, which is what we need to actually get another blue potion should we need it. But we need to go find ourselves a key now. We can't go anywhere that way, so that's going to be our way back. There we go. You can either step off to the side or allow it to go off to the side that way. Oh. And here I thought that was the way. I guess it is that way just to mess with you. We'll hop in here, and it actually shows us that it's blocked off. Oh, we can just block one side or the other. Let me do this. Come on, all three of you. With the uh, Hyrulean Shield, I don't think you have any worries. Then again, you didn't really have any worries in this room um, with the other shield either. Take that little bit of damage, the grate will raise, the path will open, and we can continue forward. Let's get the next key. Oh, it looks like we have to lead a spike ball much further than I'd like. Okay. Oh, alright. didn't quite give us what we needed. And we do have to worry every time we fall off, it does do a little bit of damage to us. But yeah, you can't go back on this route because it doesn't open up the other path. So you have to merge. Go around this way. And do it again. Have a chance of even making it past. But after that, we can make it back over and basically just walk along the path we just took to get that item. And we get our small key. Pro tip, it's for that door we saw at the very beginning. And we're good. Open the door and continue on. Our next boss is going to be... That guy. With the advanced ice sword, we have such a big range with it. it. Makes it pretty easy for us to target enemies, really, at the beginning. Let's break some of these, get some heart back. Freeze them whenever we need to. Since we know we can hit him pretty much anywhere now. Oh, it put us back on this corner. I didn't expect that. I thought we were going to be back on the center area. Goes down. 
say, I don't think they can actually handle the ice rod at all. Much like the big one. Upon finishing that, we get this path opening up, and it'll teleport us out again. When you re-step on it, because if you're stepping on it at the time, it doesn't teleport for some reason. Two out of four down, we've got our red mail, which is going to make Treasure's Tower even more of a joke for uh, any refights you do. That this is when you'd finally need to drop down to get that uh, key, uh, if you hadn't grabbed it when I did. I just, I like the... Simplicity of. Hey, look at We get to use our super lamp. And you're supposed to just remember the pillars well enough that you can actually find your way to where you're going. There might not even be a boss to this section, but... Oh look, it's the key! I much I'd love to just say that I got, but it's for sure right here. We will take our little bit of... well... um light and just head straight to the boss. Which is you? You're the boss of this area? Really, game? Even if you don't use the light, he does, so he's a little harder to fight because of that. That being said, walk him into a corner, you're good. Like, seriously, he is the least dangerous of any of these bosses so far. All that's left, one to the top right. And that's saying something because Moldorm could literally not hurt you if you hold up your shield and faced him. Like back up to a corner, hold up your shield, done. You can't be beaten by Moldorm. He is easy. Oh. And you need the hookshot for the last one. I still find it weird. The boomerang is never needed, but the, the, but, uh, the lamp is a quests like is an area specific one in this tower so like before you let him smash and ta-da he can break things for us not what I meant to do but I'll take it I forgot that yeah you can just grapple to certain walls And we found a purple rupee, so no, no easy, um, no easy key in this one. But killing the hand gives you a little bit of free time, not as much as I'd like, because uh, it will come back. I think it is required for some of these, for some of this um, area. So, it's unfortunate, at least in that respect. Yep, there it is right now. We'll kill it again. Because it's not a long thing. Because, yeah, there, there it is. It's required right there. It's required right here. Alright, you can respawn now, game. Oh, wait, it's not required right here. Oh, I thought ice could hit those as well. Whatever. Alright, come on, open this pathway for us. Thank you. Yeah. 
He picks us up and he carries us to the beginning of this room, not out of this area or anything. And he doesn't turn off any of the switches we have turned on. Uh, I don't even think he puts away the eyes if you've got them already. Oh, okay, now I see what you're gonna do. So we are gonna need our tornado rod, it looks like. Let me check, I'll walk over there. Oh, it's blocked. Interesting. We do still need our hookshot for sure. No. Duh, you can just straight merge that one. Alright, breaking through that allows us to drop the eye. And that's what we're going to call it for this one. Thank you all for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. In the next part, we will probably finish Low Rule Castle. See you guys then.